October is National Domestic Violence Awareness Month, shedding light on an issue affecting literally millions of Americans. Data shows nearly every minute 20 people are physically abused by an intimate partner around the U.S. Over the course of just one year, that adds up to more than 10 million people abused. One in three women and one in four men say they've been physically hurt by a partner at least once. But only 34% of people injured by domestic violence ever receive treatment. Many others, and even worse, 72% of all murder suicides involve an intimate partner that couldn't escape. Well, one local woman did escape domestic abuse. In a News 19 exclusive, Brittany Lake shares the story of one domestic abuse survivor who tonight is making a new life for herself. Domestic violence affects millions of people, both women and men, of every race, religion, culture, and status. It's not just punches and black eyes. It's yelling, humiliation, manipulation, threats, and isolation. For one local woman, her abuse is just one part of her story. It's a gradual process. So, you know, you start off thinking that you're misreading things or, um, you know, things will get better or someone's just having a bad day. By the time you get so caught up in it, you actually start to question the reality of what's going on. That's how Robin Spector explains why so many women stay in unhealthy relationships. It's something she knows firsthand. Robin was caught up in a relationship with her abuser for two years. When I stayed in the relationship, it was all about believing the things that he said. Her boyfriend and the father of one of her three kids verbally berated her, threw objects at her, and laughed at her tears. He would leave for four to five days at a time, sometimes longer. A lot of it was questioning myself, um, and over time that really drags you down. Little did she know he had been watching and following her, knowing her every move. It wasn't until the verbal abuse escalated that Robin seriously questioned her relationship. We felt really trapped. I think at one point he had locked us in a bedroom, my daughter and I, and um, finally he had left and I had gone to lock the door um, thinking that, that that would keep us safe. Um, and when he came back and found that the door was locked, he had just proceeded to kick it in. Even at that point with all of that that had happened, I wasn't even sure if I should call the police. It was a friend who told Robin to report the abuse, but even then, she stuck with him. It wasn't until she was on a vacation with her two youngest when she read a book on abusive relationships that she realized she was in one. That's when she sought help from the Family and Children's Center. And then that changed the course of the journey that I was on forever. She found the strength to leave and follow her passion. So we do a lot of plant-infused products. So this is the lime. It's all essential oil-based, um, six different kinds of salts, two sugars, bennonite clay, organic castile soap, and then essential oils. Blue Egg Farm Store was born. Robin is now mixing up organic products with her three kids. My daughter, who loves to bake, um, she helped come up with the idea of creating bath bombs in the shape of donuts. But even today, her past haunts her present. Her family has a restraining order against her ex, and he was recently denied placement for their daughter. Still, Robin is focusing on their safety and prioritizing the important things in life while still processing her pain. Even with the worst relationships, there's a grief process that you have to go through. Even with the worst relationships, there is a journey that you have to go through, and you have to be ready to leave in all areas, emotionally, physically, psychologically, financially. Robin found the courage to leave and start a new life, now hoping to show other survivors that they can too. You can help the Family and Children's Center in their domestic abuse prevention programs by attending an upcoming event. Paint the Town Purple is happening this Saturday at the Viroqua VFW. There will be dinner, live music, raffle and auction items. The money raised goes to domestic violence services in Vernon County. To see this story and learn more about Robin's business, uh, go to our website, WXOW.com.